I've always thought fresh is best. If you want all of the nutrients, go fresh. It's not that simple, Cherry. If you're talking fresh, as in picked from your allotment or your garden, then fresh is definitely the best. But supermarket fresh is something entirely different because they harvest their vegetables, then they'll end up in transit and in the warehouse, and all of this time, they're losing some of that nutrient content. To get the numbers on those nutrients, Sir Hales brought me to the University of Chester. Oh, look, lovely. Peas, sprouts, carrots. How do you compare the nutritional properties between fresh and frozen? So we're going to look at the vitamin C content. It's a very important vitamin that supports our immune system and keeps us healthy. It's a very good indicator of overall nutritional content. So if there's a loss in vitamin C, there's generally a loss in all the other nutrients. Exactly. So grab some sprouts, Ooh. I'll grab some peas, and we'll go and do the analysis. Let's do some science. Oh! There we go. Helping us prepare the samples... Mash, mash, mash. ..is food scientist Stuart Crofts. Definitely whizzing around. A centrifuge removes the solids and leaves just the liquid fruit and veg. We put a sample of each one into a chromatography machine, which separates out the vitamin C. So we've got all our samples, the Brussels sprouts, the peas, the carrots, the raspberries, the onions. We'll put it in here. Exactly. That's going to come through here into what we call a spectrophotometer, and that shines different wavelengths of light in, into the sample. So it's going to tell us which has more vitamin C, yeah. the frozen sample or the fresh sample. Exactly. So the results are in. We'll start with carrots. Oh. There's not very much in it between the fresh and the frozen. Pretty much of a muchness here. On to the next one, onions. The frozen's almost double the amount of vitamin C than the fresh. Oh, that's so interesting. I really thought that it would be the same. And for peas, the vitamin difference is even greater. Whoa! Frozen is a winner! Look at that! Absolutely. Almost six times more vitamin C than the fresh variety. The producers must be very pleased with that result. And these frozen sprouts do better still. About eight times the vitamin level of the fresh. I had no idea that there was this much difference. The fresh version, in this case, came from South Africa, so there's a long transit time and they're possibly losing some of their nutrient content in the journey, whereas the frozen were probably frozen fairly soon after harvesting and therefore locking in the nutrients. So far, our results show vegetables that degrade quickly or take a long time to get from field to supermarket hit better nutritional figures when frozen. What's next? Raspberries. Oh, the tables have turned. Fresh has got double the amount that frozen has. Fresh for the win. These results are for summer raspberries, but when they tested them bought in winter, they found the opposite, with frozen easily beating fresh. Why are the results so different? I think the answer to that is seasonality. The raspberries in the summer, they're in season, and they get to the supermarket fairly quickly. And in the winter, when they're not in season, they're probably imported from other countries. So if you want your raspberries to have that full nutritional punch, you want to eat them in the summer. Exactly. But out of season, maybe go for frozen. Absolutely. Whichever way wins the vitamin test, all fruit and veg are good for our health. But the less time fresh produce is stored, the better. I've always bought frozen fruit and veg for the convenience. I never thought that they would have the same nutritional levels as fresh. And when it comes to sprouts and peas, significantly higher. Winner, winner, frozen veg dinner.